Welcome back to Daddy Craft. My name is Pocket. Everything you see here is done by me or my daughter. This is the two player survival multiplayer megaplex Minecraft situation, and we are in the shopping district here. We're putting together another uh, shop. Not that we sell anything, we are completely communist here. Everything and anything you want is gotten for free. It's kind of a Star Trek kind of. Well, we don't really have duping anymore, but it's kind of a Star Trek type of wonder world, I guess. But I diverge. Today we are making a um, little mini um, lava temple out of quartz and blackstone, and we need to go into the nether. Uh, so I wanted to show off a little bit of how I've been working in the nether. Uh, episode 18 which isn't here yet, is being um, eaten and held hostage by the cloud. Um, so um, that episode actually dealt with me and Dash working on the nether. But as you can see here in the main part of the nether coming out of Eskeltown, it is made completely out of diorite. This is because um, I made this uh, in homage to Eskel's hate of diorite and the fact that the nether is a hell place so maybe if he ever visits daddy craft he can come and uh, experience the nether the way it is intended for him to experience uh, a hellscape uh, properly but what we need to do is we need to find some lava and I used to have these little pockets here where I could just jump up and left click I mean left trigger because we're on bedrock and I play with the controller and I would get the um, I get the lava but it's all run dry um it's just it's just pretty nothingness now I, no matter where i go I'm, I'm left clicking my heart's content out and there's just nothing nothing's gonna happen so we need to go into the actual nether and i thought this would be an interesting opportunity to show oh that guy's new i don't remember trapping him huh i wonder if me and dash did that at one point or she did that by herself maybe i think that's something we would have done together um, but we need to find um, most the see this hallway goes down to um, Dragon City and I did want to show it off a little bit, but I'm not going to show the entire thing This is what episode 18 was about um, But we need to find a offshoot um, That I left around here So we can get to uh, the nether proper and this is all old-school nether. This is before the uh, generation in uh, this this part of um, our terrain um, so we're going to find nothing but lava uh, out there. But I do need to find the exit, and I don't want to make a new one. So what I did was I just, um, I mean, this whole place is just slabbed through um, at different points with um, um, diorite. And it's before I knew that you had to slab it at a certain location to avoid spawning. So I just kind of did whatever. And I had been debating... Um, See, I had these tunnels that we had built before. Now I'm working on a master highway down below um, at the um, best place to find diorite. But I had been working on little uh, expansion tunnels going out. But I had then I had started um, cutting them down because I needed the diorite for our other tunnels. But now I'm thinking we uh, keep them just there as kind of like a good path to find. Oof, as a good path to find. Um, our way back home because occasionally we do have to jump out here and uh, grab some lava and explore for quartz uh, although quartz can be really gotten with uh, trading nowadays I mean I got all of the quartz for the skyscraper through uh, villager um, trading before our villagers got wiped out uh, so and then uh, now you can even get uh oh now you can you let's get out of here now you can even get quartz, um, the raw quartz, uh, by, uh, with piglin trading. So, I mean, you don't even have to really uh, mine that much. But I do want to keep it open. I did like the fact that we generated some of this uh, old school nether here um, before the new nether um, came into being. Because it definitely doesn't have this vast red just goes on forever type of vibe you know you kind of jump into a different biome pretty quickly and oh i'm so lucky every time i crash i'm not landing in lava right now we need to find our way back and we need to do it a lot more safely than we're doing it right now um i think if we follow it's it's up there 
Okay. Let me put up oh, there it is. Okay, let's just dig our way through. I used to get lost when I first started playing this game. I used to get lost in the nether all the time, and I never recorded any of my uh, my time in the nether, really, to start with. <laughs> it was full of a lot of uh, dying. Okay. So we're back. We knew we would be because of that glitch we saw where we were going. And I tore apart the uh, stairway here, so we'll just try to fix it the best we can. Okay, and uh, let's get back to uh, to the mini lava temple. Just make this look as good as possible before I get out of here. Maybe like that. Okay, we're back here, and I wanted to show you what I was going to use the lava for. This is basically, when I first made the lava temple, I made it out of cobblestone. It was supposed to be a creeper farm. And this is what I did to put the lava in. And then I had to put, I replaced all the, the cobblestone with quartz without removing the lava. So I just worked around it. And for the most part, that's fine. There's only a couple of places where the lava actually will move if you knock a block out. And it's at the top here. Um, any of those blocks underneath you can you can knock out and the lava is not going to really flow out of there so so it's not it wasn't that bad but it, it's much easier to, to put it in after you're building obviously than build around it or replace blocks around it and I did die quite a few times and we had a few accidents and a few spills Get out of here. Okay, we need more, um, need more lava, believe it or not. I'm not going back to the nether. I didn't want to risk it, and I knew there was some over here. I kind of wanted to keep this lit up, but it's still lit up, even though I'm pulling it out. Oh, it's time to go. Okay, I just had the hardest time landing. I actually had to sleep and come back. There we go. And we just have a couple more of these to go. I don't think these are really... See, the thing about the lava temple is, is that I'm using blackstone here because I wanted to do something different, but it's the quartz that shines. I should have done the blackstone on the side walls and the quartz for the pillars. Maybe I'll build one more and do it that way. We're going to keep this one this way. I'm not redoing it. I built it low because I wanted to keep my view of the ocean from the balcony. Three left. Four left. <sighs> Figures. Okay. The old kitchen. Come through here. And get us some more. Okay, that's done. No. <laughs> fly, fat ass. Fly. Oh. Okay. I believe I can fly. Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, it doesn't... I mean, 
It does glow. It shi See, it shines more on the inside with the white quartz. But at least I have that inside look. It looked good on the inside, at least. Yeah, it doesn't... It just doesn't... I wish there was, like, some sort of a... You can see, what I want is I want a better... I want to be playing this on an actual computer where I can use RTX and have an actual light glare. And then I can have that glare off of the black as well as the white. We're going to put a quartz r roof in as well. This is smooth quartz, so... I'm going to be going back and forth between here and Dash's uh, treehouse. Putting in the quartz roof, putting in the quartz roof. <sighs> Waiting on more quartz, uh, smooth quartz. It's a shame you can't uh, cook um, quartz slabs to turn them into smooth quartz slabs. I tried to do that earlier. Didn't let me do that. It's a shame. I'm not really sold on the, um, the wall up there on the top. I'll change it later. I'm not really detailing this place yet. I'm just trying to get all the shops in so it looks like there's some business going on. Uh, we really, like I said, have no need for uh, all these buildings. We're just kind of, you know, making them to kind of fill in the scenery. Um, the buildings for this base are pretty much all done. Uh, the storage room, Dash's treehouse. Um, then I have a couple of bedrooms, one in the tower, one in the blue house. Um, my, my, my original base, the orange. Uh, Dash calls it the orange. My daughter calls it the orange. The orange house. There we go. We're done. So now we get to look at it. Um, like I said, I I really like the part of it on the on the ocean side that's glowing, but the black the black stone isn't glowing. It needs more lights, even though it's made of lava. <laughs> that side's great. I mean, I, again, I just wish it snapped through the black more. It should. I, I really wanted that bright red snap that comes out of the white quartz to be coming out of that, too. I mean, I suppose we can't see it exactly from here because we're not dead on, but, you know, I... It's just not as reflective. Let's look at it um, during the day. That's my pet um, Slimer is his name. I was going to name, I had a name tag on me named Slimer from when uh, I was going to name a slime. But the slime died, so it was a baby slime. I was going to name it Slimer and have it follow me around. Uh, but it died. <sighs> I've been trying to get that achievement to, to fly through a one wide gap for so long. Uh, so the slime died, so I had that name tag on me, and then he spawned up there, so instead of killing him, it was the end of a raid. I, um, I named him Slimer and let the raid expire, and he's my pet now. Yeah, it looks better during the day. There's a couple more, um, Captain Pillagers down there. I want to put them in minecarts, but I'm running out of minecarts. I have to make more. I have to keep them around so we can capture them. That area is great for capturing them. I'm not sure we're going to do with all of them, but... We'll figure something out. We already have a jail full of them and a couple of them over at Cat Village. And now uh, the shopping district is, you know, it's filled out. Uh, I uh, did expand the road so Dash could build down that way because she said she was running out of room. And uh, the shopping district is kind of her thing. Uh, every now and then I do build a building in it. And I did want to build one here so that uh, I built it low enough so it wouldn't cut my view of the sea. But as you can see, I've completely failed. <laughs> I can see it over there. Maybe if I jump and stand on the railing. Oh, that's what you call a peekaboo view. Oh, no. Oh, no, I peekabooed myself. Oh, no. I don't like self peekabooing. This is not good. Well, at least I can still see the ocean over there. Oh, man. I can't believe this. I built it I built it low on purpose so I could s still see and look at this. Maybe if I if, yeah, if I tilt the camera and jump, there we go. We can see the ocean. 
Well, I should have built a park here. It's too late now, and I'm not tearing it down. Oh well. I came down here to uh, to the front of the building, and at least there is a good um, there's a good view from down here on the boardwalk. <laughs> so I think we're going to end the episode here. I'm not going to detail this place right now. I just wanted to fill in the empty lot, and I thought I could do it without ruining my view, but I built it one too high. Oh well. Till next time, stay kind to each other. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, maybe we'll fill this in um, next time. <laughs> Take care.